Hey you know, guys, a bit of a different video today. So uh, I just got myself a new anvil. 80 kilogram uh, Beamish anvil and also a cube sledge. But that means that I need a new anvil stand. And so we're gonna clear out this area and I'm gonna bring in some steel that I picked up this morning to build this new anvil stand. So uh, stick with us. Okay, in order to get a decent measurement of the height of the anvil I want, I need to take a measurement of the anvil I have, which is about 890. And then we need the height of my new anvil, which is 225. I also need the base width, or the base length, which is 335. And then the base, ah, getting caught on things, width, which is 245. That's going to give me enough information to then mac, uh, make my drawing. Wow, I can't talk today. Okay, now because I am terrible at designing things, I was lucky enough to have help from my good friend Alex at Valhalla Ironworks, who put together a quick CAD drawing on his computer to help me figure out the angles and stuff like that that I need to cut these legs at. But uh, the basic design, as you can see here, is two legs at the front, uh, two legs at the back, one leg at the front, standard tripod. Uh, because it's going to be bolted down, I'm not too worried about it um, wobbling or anything like that. Uh, if I was having it freestanding, I'd probably do four legs, but uh, three legs is going to make it make it less trip hazard e. <laughs> make it less of a trip trip hazard. Uh, this plate underneath is the base plate for the anvil, and then the legs are all going to get welded to the bottom of that. So all we need to do now is take the angle grinder to those giant pieces of angle you saw me bring in. And then we can finally weld it together. Pretty simple.
Okay, so we have it welded up. Now a quick safety tip. Uh, I know in the video er um, that I was doing, I wasn't wearing gloves. Uh, and that's pretty dumb. You actually end up can getting sunburn uh, from the ray. I was wearing gloves for most of the welding, but uh, I just didn't have them on camera. So I just wanted to make sure that if you guys are gonna do any welding, you wear gloves. So what we're gonna do now is gonna take this piece of 20 mil square, which is about the right height for the heel. And we're gonna use this as a height gauge to mark the legs. And that'll give me a mark to cut off at. And so the legs will be dead flat and level, ready to weld on the feet.
there you have it guys. My new anvil has a new stand and it's really solid. It's really nice to have a fixed anvil for once. Uh, as you can tell, it's been really hot the last couple of days and uh, one of the reasons that a lot of the footage is kind of just choppy is because my camera kept overheating. Um, so I'm going to have to keep this short. I'd like to thank my patrons for making this kind of stuff possible. Uh, making, obviously, me increasing my tooling possible, but also the uh, production of all of these videos wouldn't be possible without my wonderful patrons, who I will list, obviously, here. If you want to join the Patreon crew, please feel free to hit the link down in the description below and check it out. You can support me for as little as a dollar a month, and it helps to make this channel what it is. It helps me can create more educational content and entertaining content uh in the future so otherwise um this anvil we're getting a full review uh this is actually a sponsored anvil from uh, bruce beamish at anyang australia uh this is the beamish 80 kilogram uh anvil and uh i'm really really excited to get started on forging on this but uh yeah expect a full review very soon as well, along with the cube swage um and a lot of awesome projects to come on this awesome anvil so uh with that being said, I'm going to get inside and into the aircon. You guys have a fantastic week. Get out and make something, have fun, even if it's making a stand for a new tool. And uh, make sure to be safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, and if you do, make sure you film it. Cheers, guys. <laughs>